Governor Malloy had said back in uh, when we broke ground in August of 2012, this is choke point number one. And we certainly believe that to be the case. The I-95 construction project between exits 14 and 15 is moving along in Norwalk. As of a week ago, at least a week ago, this bridge on Cedar Street has been reconstructed and is now open to the public, uh, open to traffic. Um, as of today, we have our two other bridges, Fairfield Avenue and, and Taylor Avenue, that are now uh, closed because now they're going to be demolished. The $42 million project, which broke ground in June of 2012, is a three-year endeavor that is currently on time and on budget. It's important to get to this. We are happy that we got the funding put together and announced this three-year program, uh, but it's uh, long overdue and we're glad that we're on schedule to get it done. In addition to lane expansion and bridges, the project involves drainage, sidewalks and landscaping. We're on phase one done out of this pinch point number one, um, and when it's done, we will be complete with uh, removing the obstructions uh, along 95 in Fairfield County. You see the difference that it made in Stanford around exit 8. And that's what's going to be like here because we're going to have a wider deceleration or acceleration lane and it's going to change things significantly. So I'm pleased for the citizens of Norwalk. I'm pleased for the people that pass through Norwalk. For more information and updates about the project, visit i95norwalk.com. In Norwalk, Quadriba Crothy, it's relevant.com.